What's up everybody, my name is Dante. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to get stronger and build more muscle, start now by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So many people out there have goals and aspirations to lose as much weight as possible. They think that by losing weight quickly, their life will completely change. And sure, it definitely might, to a point anyways. A question I hear quite often from new clients is how long does it actually take for weight loss to show? There isn't an easy answer for this, but in my experience, you can normally start seeing results in as quick as one to two weeks, depending on multiple factors, which include how much weight you have to lose and the plan you use to lose the weight in the first place. Within those one to two weeks, it's pretty easy to lose around five to 10 pounds of body fat and water weight quickly. This makes a big difference in how your appearance looks. However, the goal isn't to stop at the two week mark. As soon as you get past your first 21 days or three weeks, you'll start to notice you're ingraining good eating habits and adapting to a healthier lifestyle. From here, it's usually pretty simple to continue on your way. After this first three weeks, you can start to see daily changes as long as you stick to the plan and increase the difficulty of your workouts or increase your calorie deficit as you go along. This brings us to another question, which is, how much weight should you aim to lose per fat loss phase? A lot of people unfortunately have a huge rebound in their weight after they you know, lose a bunch of weight essentially as time goes by. And I go over why this happens in my video on how to lose weight and keep it off forever, which you can check out right here. As explained in that video, you have to use a process called reverse dieting to keep the weight off permanently after a diet. On top of that, you wanna make sure not to exceed 1% of your body weight per week and 10% of your total body weight for an entire fat loss phase. For a 200 pound male, this should be two pounds lost per week and 20 pounds lost overall. By following these basic guidelines, you won't diet down to levels that increase your hunger hormones as much and if you surpass this number like many seem to do, expect to see a weight rebound afterwards. Take your time and only aim to lose a maximum of 10% of your body fat per diet phase. By doing this, you'll keep the weight off and your hard work will absolutely pay off as well. Here's another question that I see a lot, which is how long does it take to see weight loss in the face? From my experience, I notice it takes between five to 10 pounds of weight loss to notice a difference in your face. This is for those of you with average heights and weights, however. If you're more overweight, you can expect to double those numbers to notice a major difference in your face. Once you start noticing fat loss in your face though, you tend to get even more motivated to continue losing body fat. On top of that, since most people see your face more than any other part of your body, your confidence should improve quickly as well. It's just important to remember not to quit and continue pushing the limits of what you think you're capable of. By this point, you can absolutely make it until the end without fail. Another thing that people really worry about when they're losing body fat is how long does it take for others to see the weight loss? I actually did some research on message boards and forums on the internet and I found a pretty shocking discovery. People tended to notice their weight loss at completely different rates based on how much those people weighed in at the start. Those rates weighed between 10, 20, 30, and even 40 pounds before people realized it. And that's not all. You know that 10% body fat loss I mentioned above? That's actually almost the exact range other people started noticing. People that started at 275 pounds and dropped to 250 pounds started getting noticed. The people at 150 pounds were noticed when they dropped around 15 pounds to 135 pounds. It's weird, it's almost an exact one to one ratio of my recommended maximum fat loss per fat loss phase. I didn't even realize that I was, I was researching for this video. But of course, don't worry if people are going to notice your weight loss, because they will. If you've only lost five pounds and people haven't noticed, it's fine. Keep going and keep working hard. You're five pounds closer to your goal after all. Here's another question that I get a lot and that is how long should a fat loss phase last? This isn't a tricky question by any means, but how many people ignore how long a diet should be? Too many from my experience. I've noticed a huge drop in motivation for people that diet for more than 12 weeks. And based on others' recommendations, 12 weeks seems to be a sweet spot before diet fatigue starts to set in. This also allows you to perfectly align your fat loss per week to make sure we stay on track. Say you weigh 180 pounds. Based on my 10% recommendation, this means the maximum amount of weight loss you should be aiming for is 18 pounds. Then we simply divide 18 by 12 weeks to find the amount of weight you needed to lose weight to stay on track. 18 divided by 12 equals 1.5 pounds loss per week. As you can see, this is an awesome way to make sure your weight loss is heading in the right direction and not overdoing it by trying to lose fat for half the year, which is, you know, People do that all the time and it's not a good idea whatsoever. Because again, as soon as that diet's over, they're gonna go right back to their old habits and they're gonna put on the weight because their metabolisms are downregulated to the weight they're at now. They need to be doing that reverse diet afterwards, making sure they slowly increase calories to maintain their weight. And then after a maintenance period, they can go back to fat loss again. But doing it all in one go is a bad idea. And here is unfortunately an issue that a lot of people have, and that is what do they do if they don't start seeing results in at least a month? Usually by week four, you'll have lost a couple of pounds at least. 
However, if you find after this period of time you aren't seeing the results that you think you should be, there's a few things you can do. First up, taking progress pictures to make sure you're tracking more than just your body weight. A lot of times, especially for those with more weight to lose, you aren't gonna see any changes on the scale for a while. This is usually due to building muscle mass and losing fat at the same time. If you have more body fat, you're actually able to do more of a recomp than someone that has lower body fat because the body fat you're burning is actually gonna allow you to build muscle while you're also losing that body fat. And if you're training hard, you're gonna be building a lot more muscle than someone that's just you know sitting around or they're just going and doing cardio. So that's why, you know, doing some kind of weight training is such a good idea. But by taking progress pictures, this is gonna allow you to compare how you look, which is much more important than how much you weigh on the scale. Because if you notice, a lot of people aren't really tied to how much they weigh on a scale, they care about how they look like. Tip number two for this is gonna be start taking measurements. Taking progress pictures can be a bit subjective. The best way to measure fat loss, in my experience, is by taking measurements. Sure, you might have gained some muscle in your abdominals and low back, but odds are your waist size is gonna go down as your body fat goes down as well. And for myself and others, when we find that we couldn't rely on the scale, taking measurements with the measuring tape is your next best bet. Tip number three, make sure you're moving more and tracking your calories accurately. The biggest issue I see with people trying to lose weight without any progress to show for it is a lack of calorie counting. If you're working out hard in the gym, doing cardio, and just eating whatever outside of the gym, all your hard work could be going down the drain. Instead of leaving it up to chance, start weighing your food with the food scale and start tracking with MyFitnessPal or a similar food tracking app. If you aren't doing this and continue to see no results, you only have yourself to blame. In addition to this, you absolutely need to make sure you're moving more. If you work out hard three days a week, but you're sitting around all day the other days, losing weight is gonna be pretty difficult. Try to do something active every day you can. And with that, you should have a pretty good idea on how long it's going to take to start seeing results from your fat loss plan. It may not be easy to stick to a plan and be consistent with it, but it's absolutely necessary to lose body fat. When in doubt, treat it like a sprint. Spend no more than three months getting the work done, doing your cardio, and eating correctly in a calorie deficit. After you've hit your goal, reverse out of it slowly to maintain your weight loss without any unnecessary fat gain. If you guys have any questions on anything I went over in this video, you can definitely drop a comment down below, or you can check out my article at DanteRedgerStrength.com. I'll put the link down in the description box so you can ask me questions on there as well, or you can read through some of my other articles to point you in the right direction. Also, have you guys had any success with losing body fat in the past? If so, how long did it take to start seeing results? Of course, if you guys are new to the channel and you wanna learn how to get stronger and build more muscle, start now by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.